Hey everyone, Abdel Misa here. So a lot of people are pissed about Robin Hood. Okay, you got Ted Cruz is pissed. AOC said like, look, we gotta investigate Robin Hood. Uh, it's the first time Ted Cruz and AOC agree on something. And more importantly, you got a lot of customers that are upset. Okay, so it's in, is Robin Hood siding with the hedge fund? Why did they restrict us buying stocks where we could have made money, all of that? But you know what? I'm gonna take a contrarian view in this video and see whether actually is Robin Hood the victim here. Let me just say that I do not have any conflict of interest with Robin Hood, okay? Uh, it's not like they paid me to say, hey, Abdel, go do this video, okay? Uh, I don't do business with them. And so everything that I will be saying is based on my own analysis. And as you know me, I say things the way they are, okay? And so let's get to it. So customers are upset. They're like, okay, listen, Robin Hood, you stopped me from making money and this goes against your mission, which is to democratize finance and allow everybody, including the little guys, to trade and make money, okay? As usual, the devil is in the details. That's not really what happened here and I will go exactly over why Robin Hood did what it did and potentially why actually some guys will end up uh, winning instead of losing by not having traded these stocks. So let me first explain a very important concept which is trading on margin. Okay, so say you want to buy game stock at $400, okay? With the regular account, you put $400 and then that's it, you buy the stock. Now there are these other type of accounts called margin accounts, okay? So normally these accounts are for people that have experience trading and the way it works is Instead of putting $400, you put only half, let's say $200, and then the other $200 is borrowed through the broker, in this case, Robin Hood. Okay? So you don't put the entire $400, you just put half. Okay? Why do people trade on margin? Because you could make more money trading on margin. That's not the point of this. We just want to explain the mechanics of it. Now, the issue is, okay, if the stock goes up, no problem. But what if the stock goes down? So let's say you bought on margin, you put $200, but you bought something worth $400. Let's just take an extreme case scenario. And then if the stock goes from $400 to $100, all right, you really lost $300, but you only put $200. So the broker is not happy, okay? That's when you get the margin calls, okay? And you really get them before, but I went to the extreme example just to give you an idea how it works. So here you owe $100 to the broker, right? Because that $100, you lost $300. In fact, you have to put even more money, but that's not the point. You owe $100 to the broker. But what if, if you can't pay? Okay, you're a retail investor, you can't pay the $100. Who is on the hook for that? It's Robin Hood. <laughs> Robin Hood is the one that's going to be on the hook for that $100, all right? So Robin Hood is taking a huge risk when stocks are volatile. So here is the other interesting part is people are facing Robin Hood and they're like, look, Robin Hood, we're dealing with Robin Hood. That's the only uh, firm we know, okay? But in reality, on the other side of Robin Hood, Robin Hood is a middleman, okay? So you are the customer trade with Robin Hood, but on the other side, there are what we call clear, clearing houses, all right? So Robin Hood goes through, clears their trades through these clearing houses, okay? Now, the clearing houses themselves, they don't want to take risk. So what do they do? They go, and then when you see this volatility and margin calls and a lot of distress in the market, they go and ask Robin Hood, hey, we need cash, okay? because we don't want to be on the hook for billions of dollars. Robin Hood, you have to put cash with us so that we know that these trades are secure. All right? But Robin Hood was not expecting all of this. <laughs> okay, this came from left field and nobody expected all this. I mean, maybe a few, but to reach the level that it has reached, I don't think many people have expected, including the people in Robin Hood, all right? So put yourself in the shoes of Robin Hood. What do you do? Okay. 
you don't have a lot of choices okay if you do not put that money with the clearing houses your whole business is gone all right your employees your shareholders uh, who you have a fiduciary duty to everything is gone so if you're the ceo of robin hood what would you do okay that's what i'm asking you you have to restrict some because otherwise the whole damn business is gone right and not only that this is what people don't know is in fact like the company what it did is it raised 3.4 billion dollars of equity in the last few days that's 3.4 billion dollars okay all right that they went and raised through equity okay so guess what they diluted their existing shareholders their ceos got diluted everything got diluted to make sure that they meet uh, this requirement from the clearing houses so i understand why people are upset because look we couldn't trade we couldn't make money but really let's be honest here like you would have done the same if you were them that's number one number two they actually are the ones who had to dilute their existing shareholders because of all this mess so you can call them you know i know it's probably not popular but this is a fact okay <laughs> they were victim of all of this because they had to dilute 3.4 billion dollars okay that's the most that they have raised in their history okay uh, when you look at their previous uh, rounds of raising money they have never the cumulative of them they didn't raise 3.4 billion dollars so they had to dilute their shareholders a lot okay and then finally the most probably important comment is on average okay and that's what i mentioned in my gamestop video be careful because you know, my view my personal view is i don't think you know i think this is what we call a technical move all right the prices of gamestop went crazy up like from twenty dollars to four hundred dollars intraday not because of fundamentals but because of the short squeeze that i explained on the video so yes you could have bought gamestop but you would have sold early and you would have made money but in reality look there is a risk that the stock starts to unravel and go back to the fundamentals and in this case guess what you might have been saved by the robin hood decision uh, not to allow you to buy stocks because on average if you look at the whole population of people that trade in if the case when gamestop goes down guess what most of the people will have lost money and in reality what's funny about this whole thing is like people are blaming robin hood but in reality robin hood will have saved a lot of uh, people from trading from themselves so they will have saved it on themselves because they will have cost themselves money and as unpopular as this decision is it might have been the right thing to do and as i said look they don't they didn't have a choice anyway okay so it's either uh, they do it or the whole business shuts down and that, that would have been an even more of a catastrophe for everybody. So don't just react based on emotions, know your facts, okay? And I'm here to help with this. All right, a lot of people talk about Robin Hood, GameStop, so they don't know what the hell, <laughs> how financial markets talk, to be honest. And what really, like, again, what uh, really upsets me is at the end of the day, a lot of people get hurt right the the people that don't have the knowledge those are the ones that end up joining at the last minute and they lose a lot of money and you know that's not fair to them and so hopefully you enjoy these videos because i'm trying to educate you and you know at least share with you uh, how things work and and so that you can make better investment decisions all right so with that take care and i'll see you next time